Trading options versus trading stocks. Which one's best? In this video, I'm going to talk about the differences between trading options and trading stocks. And really, a lot of people are confused about the two. So I'm going to break it down for you and show you which one might be better for you. So bottom line, when you're trading stocks, you're actually buying and selling shares of a company. But when you trade options, you're buying and selling the right, but not the obligation to purchase or sell a stock at a certain price by a certain date, right? So this could be a really great way to protect your investments through hedging or to speculate on the movement of the stock market. So what's stock trading? Stock trading is simply the buying and selling of shares of a company, any company, it doesn't matter. When you buy shares, you actually become a partial owner of that company, but no, you don't have any say in the day-to-day -day operations of the company. You don't get a, an expense account. You don't get any of that. And there's two main ways that people make money from stocks. One's dividends, one's capital gains. Dividends are just a portion of the company's profits that are distributed to shareholders. Now, not all stocks have dividend payments, but they are, for those that are interested in it, it's a good way to make some passive income. Capital gains, well, that happens when you sell those shares for more than you paid for them. So as an example, let's say that you're bullish and you buy 100 shares of Calm for $53 per share at that red arrow. So this would cost you $5,300 of capital. And if price stays above $53, you're in profit. Below that price, you're at a loss. So the key point here, it does not matter how long it takes for Calm to make a profit when you trade stocks, okay? You can wait forever for some upside movement. Now here at Calm, it eventually had a strong move to the upside and the stock price went up to $58 per share. You could then sell your shares at that new price for a profit of $5 a share or $500. This actually relates to a return of 9% on your initial investment when you purchase the stock. It's not too bad. So the key thing to remember there is that to control those 100 shares when you trade stocks, you will need $5,300 of your capital to buy them. And for a lot of you out there, it's a lot of risk to put on in the market. And a lot of people don't have that capital available. Now, it's making money in the form of dividend payments. That also requires you to own shares of the company for a set period. And it's usually at least a quarter. And if you sell your shares before that dividend's paid, you're not going to get it. And we'll cover all that stuff in a later video. And with options trading, this is you purchasing the right, not the obligation. So you don't have to do it to buy or sell a particular security, usually a stock, at a specific price by a specific date. So a lot of people use options to protect investments, again, as a hedge, or they're gonna speculate on the movement of the stock market, and that's up, down, or sideways. Now there are two types of options. There's call options and put options. When you use either of those, just like that, it's a pure directional play on the underlying stock. A call option, for example, will give you the right to purchase a security at a specific price, while put options will give you the right to sell a security at a specific price. Again, stocks. So for our example of buying a call option, let's return to Calm. Again, we're bullish on this stock. So instead of us using a large amount of capital at that red arrow, that buy point to buy the stock, we're going to choose to buy the contract at a $54 strike price. So what we're saying here is we bet that Calm will rise above $54 at some point in the future and before that black line, that dotted line. That's our expiration date, okay? That's the expiration date of the contract. Now, the price that you're going to pay to control 100 shares of that stock, that's called the premium. So just as an example, these aren't exact numbers. Let's say it costs you $3 a share or $300 per options contract you buy. That's Again, that's the premium. Remember, every options contract has 100 shares of stock. So any price above $54, that means you're in profit. Now at the highs here, Calm was priced at $58 and it did so prior to expiration. That means you made $4 per share profit or $400 for the contract. Your initial investment was $300. So options trading is a great way to make money if you are educated on the ins and the outs of trading them. 
However, it can also be a great way to lose money if you don't understand the risks that are involved. So the biggest difference of stocks and options is the amount of risk involved, the leverage available, and the strategies that you can use. So again, when you buy stocks, you buy a piece of the company. You're a partial owner. So that means that your investment is subject to the success or the failure of the company or the investor's bias towards the stock. This is why when you trade stocks, the earning release dates for companies, really important that you watch for those. Now, if a big player, they decide to sell some shares, you could see a decrease in your position if that price falls. The bigger the player, the bigger it's gonna fall. Now, options trading, on the other hand, it's a lot more speculative, right? You're not buying a piece of the company when you purchase an option. Instead, you're just betting on the future price of the security. If you're right, you're gonna make a profit. So if your prediction is wrong, you will lose some or all of the premium that you paid to purchase that right to control those 100 shares. Another difference is the amount of money required to make a trade. When you buy stocks, you have to pay the full price of the shares. When you purchase the options contract, you'll only have to pay a fraction of the cost of that stock. This is because options are a leveraged instrument. So this means you can control a large number of shares with a small amount of money. Right, so there's no question that stock trading itself, it's capital intensive if you need the capital. The final big difference between stock trading and options trading, it's the time frames in which you can make a profit. So when you buy stocks, you typically hold them for a longer period, right? So you can receive dividends or sell them at a higher price, right, the capital gains. Now, of course, some people are gonna day trade the short-term price movement in the stock, and that's a whole other issue. But options, they're different. They're typically only held for a short period right? So you can take advantage of the price movements in the security. Now, options suffer from time decay. And what that does is decreases the value of your options position as it gets closer to that expiration date. When you buy the shares in a stock, you don't have that issue. But when you trade options, there's a lot more complex strategies than just buying calls and puts. There's directional types of trades where that stock must move in either direction for you to profit. And there are also strategies available where you can make money in five different ways with options, right? You really can't ignore the versatility that options offer. So which one's better, stock trading or options trading? Well, it's not clear cut because the answer to this question depends on your investment goals, your risk tolerance, and the available capital you have. If you're looking for a long-term investment and potential dividend payments, then obviously stocks are the better choice. Small account traders, and there's a lot of you out there, you can take advantage of the power of leverage with options. And look, you're not going to be able to be involved in all the different option strategies out there, but the basic calls and puts, they're not a bad place to start your options trading journey. It's just not. So from our experience, Options trading is more suitable than the actual buying or selling stocks. And this is for most people. And we want to help you make more money. We want to help you achieve financial goals. So we have a proven success formula. You can learn how to trade options successfully in about eight minutes a day. Make sure you download your free options guide here. It's the eight minute options cookbook. It's actually very, very popular. Make sure you hit like and subscribe to our channel. Any questions or comments, just pop them below. And we'll talk to you soon.